want to know why we're losing our children? Do you want to know why our children is end up in jail? Why our children is being seen or being delivered to the board? Do you want to know why? The reason is quite simple. It's because we gave up on the community. When your community looks like this, when your community looks like filth, the people that's in that community is going to live like the environment. And not only are we living like the environment, we embrace it, we honor it, we take pride in being from the bottoms, the low end. We talk about it, we rap about it, and we brag about it. We tell our women, if you ain't from this, you ain't a real one. We're teaching our children that you must come from here in order to be recognized as a valid black man in America. When you look at the conditions that these communities are in and what it's producing, and this is no disrespect for those that's living in these areas, but when you see what the community is producing, then you realize that we don't have nobody to blame but ourselves. We are the ones that's throwing the garbage on the floor, putting the graffitis on the wall, spitting, pissing, you know, even, even doing number twos. We are the ones that's doing that. When you look into the migration that happens in the, uh, I say in the late, early 1800s, where a lot of black people from the South was migrating into a place like Kansas. When we got there, those areas was disgusting. It was so bad, and, it, and the racism was so real that the Europeans didn't even want to come and fix the road. You know we the ones that put the work in and made that community what it is. And after years, here comes the Europeans. Oh, they did this, yeah, I, 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 would, I would like to move here. Now if you look into black inventions, you know, we created the stoplights, the traffic lights. Yeah, it was us. You understand? See, we started our own civil civilization. We made something out of nothing and we made it look beautiful. But we live in a society today where being beautiful is past tense. It's like we have to be ugly. And our beauty comes from what they tell us is beautiful. We our sisters say, okay, I want to put makeup on my face because they say that it's beautiful. I want to put blonde hair on my head because having an afro or curls or just being natural is not beautiful. When brothers think that they got to have all the clothes, all the jewelry, to perceive to be something. You gotta ask yourself who's teaching this behavior. Who taught us such behavior? I know. It's a very, it's a very, very, very touchy thing to touch on. Somebody gotta touch it. Pause. Pause. Because when I look as an adult now, when I was a child, I was as ignorant as everyone else is. But when you become a man, you must put away childish things. And as a man, from the things that I've seen over the last years, over the last few years, should I say, I've seen the demise of the youth. When the youth don't even desire to live, everybody is living for the moment. I'm a smoke, I'm a drink, I'm a kill. And all of that is because we abandoned the community. I include myself, I'm doing the job now to fix it to the best of my abilities, but sometimes I say to myself, baby, it's just too late. We abandoned the community, we abandoned these children, we left them to defend for themselves, so they pick up traumatizing survival tactics. Now, they are walking, talking renegades. We have to find ways to get back and take back the community. 
when I'm driving now in the neighborhood, I'm watching police officers. If I'm telling you, New York alone is becoming a police state. Wherever is so-called violence, on the corner, you see the paddy wagons, and Flatbush, they got a big old bus that's filled with police officers. Every shift is like 10, 15, 20, 30 officers posted up on this corner, that corner, up the block, around the corner, the whole shebang. And the reason why they're able to do this is because we lost our community. We gave up on the community. We gave up on the children. And what you guys are not realizing is that the most important word in the word in, in the word community is unity. And we lost that. We don't desire that. We 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 disassociate ourselves with anything unofficial. We unifying with you is what do I get out of it? We're unifying ourselves based on what can I get. Yeah, I chill with him because he's getting the bag. I like her when I'm dating him because he's getting the bag. It's really not about, yo, this is a brother, I'm really feeling him, this is a sister, I'm really feeling him, this is an individual I really have respect for. The person is really, you know, very, his vibration is high, he's seeking knowledge, wisdom, all that don't mean nothing. It's literally about what can you bring to the table for me. And this is why we're losing our children. And our children are in agreement with living short lives. Children don't even desire to be 40. Children don't even desire to be 50. You can see by the way that they talk, the way that they act, their comprehensions, the food that they eat, and what they expose themselves to. We're not even going to talk about what the system is doing as far as drilling them with that drill nonsense and killing them with that kill nonsense, feeding them with the pure madness, like literally giving them the dopamine so they can overdose, physically, mentally, spiritually. Now I'm saying these things because as a father, as a son, as a husband, as a life coach, I realize that if we don't start doing the talking and start cleaning up, they're going to clean us out. I did a live on my YouTube probably two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, what I'm showing you guys, all of these high rises being built, all the communities being built. They're literally pushing us out. They're pushing us out because we gave up on the community. And we should have never gave up on the community. We should we were supposed to hold our community because this is where they put us, they put us in these areas. We wasn't allowed to live on the Upper East Side. We wasn't allowed to live on the Upper, uh, on the Upper uh, West Side. We wasn't allowed to live there. We was told to stay right here. And we used to make the best of it. Brownville's not Brownville no more. Best Star is not Best Star. Best Star was the land of the brownstones. Now the brownstones is coming with people that don't even have brown, don't even have a brown tone. Are we really losing ourselves? We're losing our community. We're losing our children. I say all of that to say this is this. You must wake up. You must realize what's going on. And we must realize what's more important. Money is not important. Housing is not important. The unity is the most important thing. Coming together as one. Staying the course and finishing the race, the fight. That's what's more important. And anything that's in your mind that's taking you away from that is of the devil. And you must remove it. There's no unity. And there's no community. And there's no community without unity. Remember, people, you must free your mind or get left behind. It's a brother, man. You understand?